to go. Let me show you this one little bit of the room. And I cannot let you leave without showing you this rug because it's absolutely amazing. One of the best Amazon finds ever. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some of my top finds from Amazon that are in my bedroom. I just recently restyled up my room and I have got some incredible finds in here. Linens, decor, all kinds of great stuff. I'm gonna share all of it with you today and uh, yeah, it should, I hope we'll have a lot of fun. Make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a big thumbs up if you are like me and absolutely love to be able to find great little nuggets and little things on Amazon, I am telling you guys, you're gonna have your minds blown. This stuff is amazing. So uh, don't forget that I always leave all the links down below in the show notes for you for the items that I'm showing you. That way, if you do wanna shop them, you can check them out. I also have a ton of mood boards over there on Amazon on my storefront. So lots of cool stuff for you to check out and I have all that link down below. But for today, let's jump in. Let's chat about what is in this room and what you should definitely know about that is from Amazon. Let's go. Let's start over here first, shall we? I have got these absolutely gorgeous curtains that I found on Amazon. I absolutely love this velvet material on them. I also love the fact that they've got the thermal lining, so that really helps give you a nice blackout. They're not actually black out, so I have bought another pair from them that I've used in other projects, so I'll link up both for you, but either way, uh, Amazon's a great place to shop for curtains. I find stuff there all the time. And these in particular, I really liked the softness of them. I liked the weight of them and I liked the color. I think that the colors that this brand comes out with are really, really nice. And I thought that was a great find. I did actually get the curtain rod from Amazon as well. It's just a really slim line curtain rod and I think it's gorgeous. So I'll leave that linked up for you as well. And one of the things I got recently that I think is really, really fun is this really great little ottoman. It's sometimes it's just nice to have these little pieces around so if you're sitting in a room or uh, I don't know my kids come in here all the time and we hang out and it's just nice to have an extra little piece of decor as well and this little stool is just that piece it's uh, it's actually not super heavy it's kind of made of like a foam material but I just loved how simple it was and the linen kind of fabric on it I thought that was really pretty I actually bought it in the beige and I bought it in the white and I love them both I ended up keeping both of them it's just a nice little kind of sculptural simple little shape that really just kind of adds a nice little bit over to the otherwise kind of empty corner so I love just having that in here and then I also found this beautiful vase I love this one this is from a Scandinavian brand that just happens to also be available on Amazon it's from Bloomingville and I really love these pieces I love how sculptural it is and I love that sort of taupe color I just think it just adds a lot to this corner especially against the dark but even if you have a light room I think it's just it's nice to have these sculptural pieces and just to really get that sort of feeling of just something different and interesting, I think. I think that's what it is for me. You just really want to have that feeling like there's something going on, something for the eye that really catches it. So yeah, I just think this is great. I've also got this, these great little olive branches from Amazon as well. This is one set of them, so I've got them also in the living room. I've been using them all over the place. They're not super long. The longer ones that I've shown before were from Pottery Barn. I'll link those up for you as well, but if you want some that are just a little bit shorter, these are awesome. Then, one of the other things is I have this little uh, set of candlesticks. They look like they're candlestick holders, but actually they're tea light holders. And I still have forgotten to go and get some tea lights for them, but I really just love them. They're actually made out of marble, which if, can you believe that? I mean, marble like this for about $20 is just an incredible price. Normally a piece like this is gonna cost you a small fortune on a designer website. And I just think that these are really great. Uh, these are also from Bloomingville, which is that Scandinavian brand. Again, another little sculptural piece that I just think just adds a lot. The other thing over here that is from Amazon is actually the side table. I really love this little side table. I love that little stud kind of look on it. I think that's really pretty. And my favorite part about this, of course, I love the fact that the drawers open and shut with a little push like that. But at the moment, I have it loaded with some really nice books. This is Patrick Ahern. He's an architect and does beautiful classic homes here in the US and I uh, love this book. 
really enjoyed over the weekend just getting to sit here and look through books and magazines and just really enjoy this space. And so for me, having books in the bedroom is just a key component to really being able to enjoy it. So this is one of the books that I just really, really love and really enjoy. And of course I got it off of Amazon. And then World's Finest Homes, sometimes you can get this off. I got it on Amazon, but it's, it is available in limited quantities. If you can get your hands on it, oh my goodness, just grab it. It is absolutely spectacular, beautiful European homes, very much my personal style, very modern classic designs. And yeah, it's just absolutely mind blowing, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. So those are a couple things over here. And then I also got some bedding actually off of Amazon as well. Amazon is a great place to look for some really affordable bedding. I got the linen duvet off of Amazon. It's absolutely gorgeous. It comes with the matching shams. And then I bought the quilt, which I'm now sitting on. <laughs> I got the quilt from there as well. And as you can see, it comes with the really nice shams. I love this sort of triangular shape on it. It's super, super soft. And of course I love that color. I think it's so pretty. It's kind of like a, a brownish beige color. And that goes perfectly with these amazing pillows. They are like, they are not actually leather. They're a faux leather, but I love the pattern in them. Really reminds me of my favorite Bottega Veneta bags and things. I'm kind of obsessed with that company. And they make a lot of things like this where it's the woven leather. And when I saw these, I was like, must have them. <laughs> I love them. They're backed with this really nice soft velour kind of velvety material on the back. I also bought the inserts for these off of Amazon as well. I'll leave a link for those. I always go up one size. So I think this pillow is an 18 by 18. So the insert was a 20 by 20. I think having the down means that you can actually sit on these and squish them and use them. And then they just fluff right back up. So I really love the way that it does that. But yeah, that is my uh, Amazon finds in here. Everybody always asks where my bed is from, so I will leave that link for you as well. That is from West Elm, and I just love it. I think it's just gorgeous. And then I have a piece up here that I painted myself, and I have yet to get it framed, but eventually, maybe, I <laughs> will actually get that job done. Uh, and then the sconce here is from CB2, and that one uh, is actually sold out now, but I'll leave something linked up that's similar for you. But let's head over to this side, shall we? And let's go see what we've got over there. All right, over here, I've got some amazing finds. I'll try to stay closer to the light because once you get back in this corner, there's no natural light back here. But I've got a few things that I found on Amazon that I was pretty amazed by. I've got a piece that I painted in the back here, but this little one, let me move this out of the way. That one was actually an Amazon find. So it's, printed on like a canvas so it definitely does not have texture you could always just go back and add some texture into it take a paintbrush to it and add some more on but i do like the fact that it really has a lot of depth to it, it has a lot of interest to it it does have this it is a plastic frame but i think overall having it framed does make it look a little bit more upgraded and really just a very pretty piece and so I think that looks great sitting there. I've got these gorgeous little white vases and this greenery. I think these are already sold out, but I'll leave a link for you just in case. I just liked how wobbly and how artisanal that looked and how it looked like it just looks like somebody really just handmade it rather than it being made, you know, in mass on a machine. And then this little greenery just kind of just has that little curly kind of look and I just thought that was really nice to add something that a little bit more free form over here. Then I found this incredible lamp. I absolutely love this lamp. It has incredible texture to it. Got a beautiful linen shade and it really just helps the space, especially in the evenings to have some light in this corner. Then I could not believe this little piece that I found. This one was from the Creative Co-op and it is actually, it's glazed and it's stoneware. So it is actually dishwasher and food safe. So I do have it in the bedroom at the moment, but I am thinking it'd be really pretty with lemons on the kitchen counter or limes. Uh, I just love all the texture in it and how pretty that is. It's just gorgeous. And I love how sculptural that is and how that really just adds a lot of interest to this little area. 
And then I have a couple more books over here. I've got Studio KO. I just adore this book. I think that the architecture in it is just stunning. I'm always looking for books, I say this so often, but I'm looking for books that are really pretty, that just sitting out by themselves, they're gonna be a really nice decor piece. And then of course, I wanna be able to have them open if I want to, to be able to display what's inside of them. And of course, having something that I just wanna look at and I feel super, you know, just, I feel inspired, I feel excited, and I see something maybe that I wouldn't be able to see normally in my life, and I, I just love it. There's some really gorgeous pages in this. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. Then I actually have that Designing Your World. There's a one and a two to their books, so uh, both of these books, that's the one I just showed you over there, they both are incredible and the very very limited quantities available so if you can get your hands on them i think that you will absolutely love them they really show you homes as they are in europe and i find it super inspiring so as someone who actually lived over there and i visited a lot of people's homes really sometimes it's you know we see in more of an american interpretation of european design these books have like real european homes in them and that's what people's homes really look like so that is really fun um, then, what else do I have? Okay, let's see. Then I found this really cool little bowl. It's like a fiber concrete kind of material and it just really has like so much texture in it and I just thought it was such, such a fun piece. It's just kind of, you know, messy. And I, I like that because it really just feels like a hand has touched it. It's a little bit imperfect and I think imperfections just catch your eye when every single thing is too perfect. It just feels a little bit cold and lacks a lot of personality. So I love to be able to add a piece in like this. I liked the brown color as well because it just really warms this whole space up a lot. And then at the moment, <laughs> if you guys are not watching my Amazon lives, every time I tell my mom about them for a long time, she was like, I don't understand. I went on your channel and I don't see your Amazon lives. I'm like, mom, it's not on my YouTube. <laughs> The Amazon Lives are on a different platform. They're on Amazon. I, I always leave a link down below, but you just look at the links down below and you'll see, you can click over and watch our Amazon Lives. We gave you a full tour of the room and it's really fun because you guys can ask us all sorts of questions. You can find out what the details are and all that kind of fun stuff. And then everybody kind of chats in the comments too. So it's really, really fun. But yeah, we were, we've shown this room over there uh, the other day. And so I thought I'd share it with you guys here on YouTube as well but you can also follow us on Amazon watch the lives you can watch them they're recorded so you can watch them even later or just go binge watch them they're just loaded with lots of tips and tricks and if you want to be able to get a sneak peek of you know what might what might eventually we don't always post everything from those on this channel most of the time we don't so it's unique content and it's, it's fun because it's live but yeah I will leave a link for that so you can check it out but one of the things that I talk about all the time on my lives is my obsession with these candlefish candles. Uh, these are the ones, if you remember, we went to Charleston a few weeks ago. We were there at the holidays. We went last summer. We go quite often. And the place that we always go is Candlefish because we love their candles. They're made with natural ingredients. They're made with the soy and they are just absolutely gorgeous. I've got the number 53 burning in here. It's got a little bit of honeysuckle in it and it just feels so spring-like in here. I just absolutely love it. So uh, that is what's burning in my room at the moment. And actually I've got a couple more <laughs> dispersed around the house because number 53 and number eight are the two that I am loving right now because I'm in the mood, right? For that spring kind of feeling. So yeah, I love those. Uh, I'm gonna show you something that I probably shouldn't show you, but I'm gonna show it to you anyways. But there's a, a new addition to this space all right, so over here, this is the door that goes out into the living room, and we've got the entire room painted in locust black, which I still really love. Even last night, I was like, oh, I really don't know if I want to do this or not, but I am thinking about painting the bedroom, especially for spring, and I was like, well, I'm gonna paint it for spring, and then I'll just paint it back in the winter to the dark color. <laughs> That's the kind of things I do, right? I'm a little bit crazy. But I did think it would be really fun to test out a new color. So at the moment, uh, we're gonna have that hopefully coming very soon. 
All right, let me show you just a little. Okay, there we go. Now you guys can see a little bit better. Uh, I've got several samples up here. I think this is the one I'm going to go with. It's just gonna be like a really creamy beige kind of color and yeah, I'm kind of excited about it. So stay tuned, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on that upcoming video because it's gonna be really fun. I'm not planning on making big changes to the rest of the room. I really just want to paint it a different color. So it'd be really fun to see uh, just a different color in the same room and how that changes the way that it feels and it should be a lot of fun so uh, yeah stay tuned for that and then you're getting a little bit of a sneak peek this is a new addition let me turn you just a little bit I know it's kind of hard to see because it's backlit but I actually paid to have a new shade made for up here so the door will be staying black but the painter is coming this week to finish uh, filling in all the paint on that so all of that will be in the upcoming video for the makeover. But before you go, let me show you this one little bit of the room. And I cannot let you leave without showing you this rug because it's absolutely amazing. One of the best Amazon finds ever. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, so over here, I've got some of my absolute favorite, favorite Amazon finds of all time. I still swear by the Samsung Frame TV, one of my favorite purchases ever and I'm not like a huge gadgety kind of person so for me to want to spend money and on an electronic like it has to be worth it to me like it's got to be amazing this is absolutely incredible you can see I get to wake up to Paris every single day but I can also switch out the art I go on Etsy all the time and buy, buy new art for it it is so much fun but it is digital artwork it's got Prime it's got uh, you know Netflix all you do is just a one, it's so nice because the, the remote has a one tap and you can just go to all your different apps and I, I just absolutely love it. And then with a single tap, you're right back to your screensaver. Oh my gosh, it's just the best invention ever. I love it. I love it. Uh, at the moment, we've still got the cord out because the painters are going to be coming this week. So we'll hope we have that buried by the time we do the next makeover. But the other thing that I also bought for this is the frame. So the frame TV, you can buy frames from Samsung, but this is actually from a different brand that is also sold on Amazon. And I just, just absolutely love this thing. It's really cool because it's actually magnetic and it kind of like just clips in on the, the bottom and then just clips over the top. I don't know if when I go to paint the walls, if I will still want it to be this color or I may want it to be black. I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna decide after the walls are painted and I see it, but I had to share this with you. I've ordered the samples for about six of the frames that this company makes. I love them all. They're really good quality. They really upgrade your TV and it looks amazing. So definitely recommend that. As with everything, well, I will definitely link it all down below for you. The other thing that I found, I could not believe that this was off of Amazon. They've got these really cool, you can hear, hear my ring against it, these metal uh, little rings, which are so cool. I love the little set of them. They've got kind of like a pewter color. It's really fun because right now you're seeing a lot of things color on color, right? You've got dark on dark. By next week, it's gonna be something completely different. I can't wait to see it. It'll be really fun for you to really I, I like the way that this feels right now, which is why I'm like, mm, am I sure I want to change the color? Because I really love the dark color, but I think it's gonna be really great in the light too, because then it'll add some contrast. Some of the other things from Amazon, not this one. <laughs> that one, unfortunately, came from a garden center. I will try my best to link up something similar. Pottery Barn has something similar to this, actually. I think they've seen how much we like the spheres. Uh, Jack has filmed a couple pans for me. It should have the spheres in there. We've got the spheres sitting in here. Those are from Pottery Barn, and they have something smaller that you can also get like that too. Uh, but one of the books that I literally just absolutely love from Amazon is Vogue Living. This is their country, city, coast. As you can tell, I took the cover off of it because I love having that linen cover on there like that. It's just so pretty. And then inside, of course, it's just got beautiful, beautiful homes, gardens. You've got all different locations. I mean, Carl Lagerfeld, oh, it's so good. You got Paris, you've got all different places around the world. It's just absolutely amazing. I think I wasn't even like, making sure you guys could see that. Hopefully you could see that. I was just so enthralled by what I was looking at. I was like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> but yeah, really, really inspiring book. 
really elevated interiors and gardens and it's just lovely super super inspiring and of course i love the fact that it sits right here it looks great as decor and it's just kind of waiting for me when i'm ready for it um i've got my madeleine candle sitting there I kind of switch my candles off you know does anybody else do that you switch back and forth between them I've also got the new Nordic houses and portraits of a home I think these are all still in stock hopefully <laughs> a lot of my books they seem to just have a knack for finding books that go out of stock I just absolutely love Nordic this it's called Nordic Houses. Uh, I love this book because it really shows you what, how people live in the Nordic. The very northern climate, the way that they really focus on natural materials. Their homes are always have a lot of glass because they're trying to bring as much natural light into the home as possible. Uh, this is really what people's homes really look like. From us having lived in Copenhagen for six years, visiting with our friends in their homes, this is what their homes look like. So it's really fun to get to see all of this Scandinavian design and oh man, I love it. I still just absolutely love it. This book is super inspiring. And then I've got Portraits of a Home Disc Interiors, yet another one. Ah, oh, it's so warm and inviting, isn't it? Oh, it's so beautiful. So if you are looking for decor and inspiration, I really suggest checking out each of these books. I've also got a list of my favorite books over on Amazon. I'll have all that linked up for you. But yeah, I think that you can just find so much inspiration by what others have done, seeing what color combinations really jump out at you, what materials jump out at you. It really helps you to learn your own style and who you are and what you really enjoy. And I think that's really important to know when you're designing your spaces, right? One final little find over here is this incredible bowl. Hopefully there's some of these still left in stock, but I just freaked. I mean, oh my gosh, it's like actually a piece of wood made into this really cool bowl and it's heavy. And if you bought something like this off of Restoration Hardware, it would cost a small fortune. So this was super affordable as was everything that I've been showing you today. Incredible, incredible finds. I think having a little bit of green in the corner of your room just really adds a little bit of life in there. This lamp is actually the one that I bought from Restoration Hardware. I personally don't recommend it because it's really difficult to get it to turn on and off. The other one that I have from Amazon that I have in the other parts of the house, I love that lamp. I'm gonna leave that one linked up for you. Uh, but one of the other things I have in here is this really cute little table, another amazing Amazon find. It comes in white and black. Both colors are super pretty and very cute. Uh, then I also, I've got another one of those little leather pillows sitting back here. And I have this beautiful blanket that I think is just absolutely stunning. Look at the color and the pattern in that. Isn't that just absolutely stunning? That is just such a pretty piece. It's got the really nice little fringing on it. And a piece like this just looks so good. Just literally just put right over the arm. A lot of times I'll add those to the bed as well. And so having like just a few layers in your room just really helps to keep the room just feeling fresh and inviting. Then down below underneath our feet, I have an amazing rug. I will definitely make sure that I leave that linked as well. I was worried that it might feel a little bit rough in the bedroom, but I've had it for a while, so I don't remember if it was rougher when we got it, but it's not rough at all. And uh, of course it has texture to it. You do feel a little bit of that, but it's, amazing i absolutely love it i hope that you've enjoyed today's video i hope that it's got you loaded up with lots of great ideas and some great finds from amazon as i said before i'm going to leave everything linked up for you down below so you can check it all out also make sure you're following us on instagram because over on instagram we show you a lot of these things as we're doing them so you get sneak peeks of stuff that comes to the channel before it gets here and of course, we just get to show you around the house and things that we're doing, and it's a lot of fun. You can also look at our mood boards on Amazon. That is another fun resource for you guys. We show you products that we're finding. We show you mood boards of how to use them in your space. You would not believe the stuff that we find on Amazon. It just still completely blows my mind. We also show fashion items as well. If you're not following our fashion channel, I highly suggest you check that out. We're just all over the place, I'm telling you. It's because we love what we do and it's a really fun thing to get to share on so many different platforms with you. So uh, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll hit subscribe if you haven't already. And otherwise, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.